Welcome back to Stooge Stream. I'm your host, The Stooge. This is the TNA Impact Recap and news show. Mm -hmm. That's right, because there's a lot of news to cover. But before we get to that, I'm joined as always by my sidekick, one of the Stooges, to my Vince McMahon, I'd say Jerry Briscoe. Yeah. Jerry Briscoe. I can do that. G Banks. What's happening, YouTubers? So before we get to the show, let's very quickly cover the news of what's been happening in the world of Impact Wrestling. There's been mm -hmm. a lot to talk dark about. Dark days are happening. Yeah, there are dark, dark days, days ahead. Are but hopefully there's a light at the end yeah. of it. A phoenix rises out yeah, of the, the ashes. ashes. Exactly. Beautifully worded. But before we get to the, the phoenix rising, we need to get to the ashes and yeah. it's burning now. <laughs> so the crisp. We, we're not going to talk about all of it because there's too much to report mm -hmm. on. Let's hit the highlights. So the highlights are, the deals haven't been done yet. So Billy Corgan doesn't actually own Impact Wrestling yet. Yeah. Deal's still in the works. Matt Hardy has thrown his hat in the ring, says he wants to buy Impact Wrestling yeah. quite seriously. He came out on Twitter recently and said he was very interested to um, pick partings and buying TNA. All in character, mind you. So, yeah. yeah, but he is actually serious about it. Yeah, no, he it. is very serious, yeah. Um, Dixie Carter's been slapped with a restraining order by Billy Corgan isn't allowed within 500 yards of she him. She is actually the biggest heel in wrestling history. Yeah. Like, n shoot everything. Like, no bullshit, everything. She is the ultimate heel. She is destroying this company. Yeah, to the ground. It's ridiculous what she's done. Um, WWE is going to get the tape library, apparently. There's mm -hmm. all sorts of shenanigans going yeah. on. Ultimately, at the end of the day... What we do know, we do know the last episode of Impact Wrestling is going to be Tag Team Apocalypto held at the Hardy Estate. Yep. Matt Hardy wants tag teams from all around the world. And he actually mentioned it on this episode of Impact yep. Live that he wants the New Day and the Young Bucks there. Yep. Um, so there's that's going to be good. and the Bucks of Young or something? The Bucks of Youth. The Bucks of Youth, yeah. The Bucks of Youth and the Day of New. Yeah, the Day of New. <laughs> So that was interesting. So we'll mm. see what that leads to. But now let's get to the Impact recap. Yeah, that's what you're waiting for. This is the episode of Impact that aired on the 13th of October 2016. Mm -hmm. It opens with Eddie Edwards coming down to the ring with the World Heavyweight title. Woo! To cut a promo about him being the champion. It was a good promo, actually. Yeah, I was no, it was very... Um, he's up the par a bit from last week. He did yeah. well, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, this was a very good... He got himself over. He actually covered something, too. If you go back and watch it, Lashley missed his cue and Eddie Edwards covered it. You wouldn't yeah. have even noticed. No, no. Actually, I didn't even pull it up until you said something. It's like... And then we went back and looked, yeah. and it's like, oh, that okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lashley comes out, beats down Eddie. Moose and EC3 run Lashley yeah. off. I liked all of this. I thought it worked. It was a good opening to the show. The only thing that I probably... They could have done a bit better... They could have booked Eddie Edwards a little bit stronger against Lashley. He did yeah. look a little weak against him. Yeah, it's like he, um, Ash, uh, Bobby Lashley put it over him very quickly. It was yeah. like, what? Oh, he needed um, EC3 and uh, Moose's help straight away. It's like yeah. he's the world champion. Like, yeah, the heavyweight world champion. He can defend himself. He proved that last week. You know what I mean? You should have let him get a little bit more yeah, offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he should be able to defend himself now. Like, you know, he surrounded himself as the world heavyweight champion. Yeah. So. All right, now we're going to jump around a little bit because some segments will tie into things that happen later. Yeah. So there's no point covering them twice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to jump to is Billy's backstage segment uh, with Lashley after this, saying you've just lost your number one, uh, your number one contender rematch yeah. for beating up Eddie Edwards. You've now got to face the winner of tonight's main event, who I'll decide is whoever later. Yeah. And if you beat that person, then you're the number one contender again, or they're the number one contender. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of roundabout way of getting the number one contender. <laughs> it was a bit of a stick at um, uh, Dixie too, if you realize. He was like, if I'm one the man running a company, yeah. I get to choose what's going yeah, around yeah, here. Yeah. He was like, ooh, all right, step ooh, back. Ooh, Uncle ooh, Billy ooh, with that Billy. freaking fur color of the Ville coat. Yeah, dude, put it back in your pants. Put it back. Yeah, it's, yeah, all yeah, right. yeah. it's all right, Uncle Billy. <laughs> all right, next up we had... <laughs> and I know you're going to have something to say about this. Whoa, what? Aaron Rex versus Jesse Goddard oh, for the Grand Championship. The way this match setup works is it's three rounds, mm. three minute rounds. You can either win by pin or submission at yeah. any point during the match or by judge's decision at the end of the match. Yeah. The judging is broken as shit. Yeah. Oh. 
Tens and nines, that's all you're going to see, folks. Tens and nines. It's absolutely broken, that needs to be fixed. Yeah, it's a myth if you're going to see eight. Yeah. It's, it's actually a myth if you see any other number besides ten or nine. Really, they need to fix that scoring yeah. system. But past that, I like the match setup. Yeah, look, I like this match this week. It was actually pretty good. Why they didn't, they didn't do this last week, I don't fucking know. But hey, they're learning. They're learning. They may have listened to some show last week, I don't know, and actually come up with the idea. Who knows? I love as soon as Jesse's music hit, the first thing out of your mouth. Why didn't they do this last week? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> and then they broke the TV again. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So the match itself, what did you think? Look, I, look as I said, uh, jokes aside, match was actually pretty good. Um, um, both wrestlers showed what they had. Um, Jesse got as being, you know, amateur wrestler and whatnot. Yeah. And, um, a lot of know, submission holes, a lot of, lot of yeah, chain yeah, wrestling. Yeah, exactly. And, you know. The savior wrestling, yeah. Um, Aaron Rex, you know, being I, Aaron Rex. I like that this was more of a chain wrestling match, yeah, more yeah. of a submission. There match. wasn't much spots in this match. There wasn't much big moves in no, this match. It was match. a wrestling match. Yeah, it was a you know old traditional wrestling match, which I didn't mind. Yeah. And both lads showed, you know, showed they can get you know wrestle that style. Yeah, until round three. Yeah. Now round three, we had slight shenanigans, but it was good. Yeah, I yeah, like no, the shenanigans. It was like the. F- kind of first shenanigans we've seen in this tournament in the grand championship yeah, 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 yeah. match but it was good it was well done yeah, so yeah. jesse accidentally knocked aaron rex out of the ring mm-hmm. so he sat on the ropes to let let aaron rex in yeah, completely yeah. let him in and to so come on and, let's, and let's aaron rex was like delaying time to walk yeah. around the ring not knowing what's going on like he was like oh. so then the reverse happens and mm-hmm. jesse accidentally gets knocked out of the ring mm-hmm. aaron rex sits on the ropes like come on let's finish this yeah Gets halfway in and Aaron Rex takes the cheap shot and yeah. turns heel. Yeah, kicks him straight in the head, knocks his teeth out. Well, it doesn't knock his teeth yeah. out, but you, know, you just get the drift. Then hits that spinning elbow yeah. and that's the end yeah. of that. And, uh, that discus elbow is pretty good. Yeah, and that cemented his uh, place the in the heel, yeah, heel turn. The face that he made, like if you look at Aaron Rex as a wrestler, I've actually seen uh, some interviews with him recently. I'm going to break KFAB for a second because as a person... Aaron Stevens is boring as batshit. He oh. is the most boring person I've okay. ever seen. He's just a boring dude. I didn't know that. Really oh, wow. arrogant and boring. Oh, okay. Mm, tell about that his character, how he plays. As a character actor, yeah. Aaron Stevens is amazing. He's an amazing character actor. So he's actor. a Brock Lesnar? No, because Brock Lesnar can't act or can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> this dude can talk and act really. Yeah. Like, he can act his little ass off, man. And... The one moment that sold this whole match was after it. They can, camera turned to him. He's holding the title, and just the look on his face had completely the, changed. Dropped, yeah, it was like from him smiling and going, "Yes, I'm glad to be here." Yeah, yeah. too. He was the dirty yeah, bad like, guy. Yeah, like I'm the champ here. He's yeah. so good at the little things. Yeah. That's what makes him as good yeah. as he is. I really great. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was good, and it gives Jesse a story yeah. now. And look, to be honest, he wasn't actually. Um, going well with this whole face thing at TNA. No. Uh, it wasn't going over with the crowd being a face for some it's reason. It's working in WCPW. It's yeah. not working here. Yeah, I don't know why, why it wasn't working for some reason, but it just didn't work. It, like, it just seemed like it was uber face and they brought him in as an uber face too. They're like, he's the savior for no reason and he gets a title shot. For no reason. And Because he's, you know, former, you know, WWE He star. used to be famous. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, okay. Like, yeah, look, we love you, Adam Rex. But yeah, I, I like, I really do like yeah, it. Your wrestling's great. great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, awesome. But, you know. And again, it's weird that it works in WCPW yeah. as a face. It's just weird, yeah. Here he doesn't work as a face. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's just, yeah. yeah. It's just the atmosphere, the environment. Yeah, yeah, it must be just different. But I, I'm excited to, to see where Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, ex- I, I'm excited. I well, was like, I think this is going to go well. Well, um, pretty much all the champions now are face, so they, you know, they need a we heel. We need a heel. Yeah, we yeah. need a heel champion. Definitely. Because otherwise it'll be, be a little bit too boring. Yeah. So, Ali and Maria have a few backstage segments mm-hmm. throughout the show. Yeah. I'll cover them now just to get them out of the way. Yeah. Um, this was prior to Maria versus Gail for the Knockouts title rematch. Mm-hmm. Um, so firstly, Ali's telling Maria that everyone's banned from ringside. Sienna, Laurel, and herself. Yeah. And Maria flips out and loses it and storms off and has a go at Ali. And yeah, Ali yeah. does the cutest little... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, you know, puppy little... The little girl, yeah, yeah. Squeamish in the corner. It was very cute. Yeah. In the next segment, Miracle's there saying... 
Don't worry, I'll look after it. I'll come to the I've ring. Got you, I've babe. got your back. It's a no DQ match. Ha 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 ha. And Ali's like, you didn't let me finish your band too, Mr. Mike <laughs> yeah, Miracle. Yeah. Mr. Mike Miracle. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, they try then they like Ali runs away as soon as she shows up. Yeah. It was pretty funny. It was pretty cute. It yeah. was really well done. I like Ali char Ali's yeah. character. I like what Same. they're doing with her. So Alright, but we'll get to the actual match of Maria versus Gal a little bit later on mm -hmm. in the card. Lashley um, runs into EC3 and Moose backstage, mm -hmm. lets them know that they're going to be facing each other in the main event. Yeah. I like this promo work by all three of them. Yeah, no, they actually... Uh, Bobby Lashley actually can show that he's a badass in yeah. a promo, not be, you know, the in, you know the not intimidating guy that yeah. he is. Like Everyone got their spots in, right? Yeah. Lashley got his heel spot, like intimidating hell spot in yeah, yeah. ec3 got his smart ass remark of look at your shit eating grin in yeah <laughs> and moose got his intimidating you don't want to do that yeah. in his face and everyone and but it was really short but everyone got yeah, a little spot like literally it was like for two minutes if that like it was yeah. short it, it just was like, ran like yeah, yeah bobby lashley came in and was like hey guys use a verse in each other yeah <laughs> take that and they're like whatever <laughs> sweet but it was well done yeah. i really liked it it was short sweet and really good Earlier in the show, we had a backstage promo with the Hardys, mm -hmm. uh, who said that we're now in a broken era. Ah, 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 ah. One of the greatest backstage promos when um, <laughs> Matt's like, I really enjoyed watching you climb that ladder around. Jeff just this starts climbing the ladder. ladder. Yeah. And Jeff starts climbing the ladder. He's like, oh yeah, it starts yeah, climbing no, the ladder. Like, like, Get down here. <laughs> He goes, I must, um, he goes, I must return my addiction. And he tries to climb up the ladder and he's like, no, come down here. You come down here. You're only allowed to induce your addiction for one night. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. little, great little backstage promo. And that led to them later on in the show, a couple of segments later, coming out to the ring, cutting an amazing promo. Yeah. It was great. I really enjoyed it. I just love seeing Matt, like hearing Matt Hardy's music now and, you know, Brother Nero and yeah. Broken Matt Hardy just coming. You know something Yeah, cool something happen. amazing is going to happen. Whether they're going to be in a match, whether they're just going to cut a promo, something amazing is going to come out of that man's mouth. But better yet, this ties into something that happened earlier in the show. Yeah. So earlier in the show, we saw La Tribune. La uh, Tribunal. La Tribunal. Yeah, Sorry, La, La Tribunal. Tribunal. Um, backstage trying to talk to Billy and Aiden O'Shea going, guys, what do you want? Yeah. Like, you're about to get cut. You're yeah. not impressed. Yeah. Like, do something impressive. Doing the whole, you know, yeah. big Chicago goon gangster act thing. It was actually pretty cool of Aiden O'Shea. So, and then, um, Baron Dax screams at him in French. Now, my wife speaks French. Yeah. And was translating it for us. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that put him over. Yeah, we, we sorry love Aaron Dax Yeah, now. sorry if I was giving you shit last week. I love you now, now yeah. Aaron Dax. Dude, one week. The yeah. difference it makes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep talking in French. Yeah, and we'll awesome. just get feet of translated because he was... I'm not going to say what he was saying. He was having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... That comes back to Broken Matt Hardy and Brother Nero in the ring cutting this amazing promo. They hunt it down and go watch this promo. Yeah. It was really yeah. good. Um, and they come out and jump them, but they were wearing new outfits. They're yeah. dressed in all black. Yeah, they look like assassins in a way. Yeah, or like, a hit team or, or hit a man. SWAT yeah, team yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, or... yeah, yeah kind of in a way. Like, they're there to take people out anyway. Yeah, because before they were just wearing their you know, normal traditional trunks with boots yeah. and stuff. They just look like you know a bunch of jobbers. Yeah, but now, now they, they look, look like hit men. Now, now they look yeah. like, yeah, two tough dudes ready to go. It's amazing. And this is what I was saying uh, on another show. With great heels, you can bury them for as long as you want, and they've been buried for the past three months. Yeah, easy. All it takes is one good segment to you bring them back, yeah. and this was a good segment. They didn't even know what to back. do with them. They yeah. started pinning them against each other, and that didn't even work out. Like they just didn't know what to do. Dude, with yeah, each they had yeah, no idea. Yeah. This is what you do with them. Yeah, they put them with Al Snow. Like, yeah. yeah, like that was good. I like that. Yeah, like, I actually like I love it too. Al. Yeah, because we love Al. That's about it. Except Al always makes it about himself. Yeah. Fucking Al, put someone else over in your life, would you? Greatest, uh, Gail Kim is one of the greatest wrestlers, but <laughs> now we know that Al. Thanks a lot, idiot. <laughs> but no, this is what you should do with them. Yeah, this is no, how you yeah. you make them a credible threat, and in one segment against oh, the Hardys. Yeah, exactly. Done. Easy. That's all you have to do. Done. You want to put someone over? Put them against the Hardys. Yeah. Just simple with decay yeah perfect they did it with decay now do it with tribunal yeah. easy it's gonna work out really well exactly. I'm and it was a it. massive pop you could see that in the crowd like before when they used to come out i was like who are Whatever. these guys yeah, yeah. jobbers yeah tribunal more like try trash by the yeah. end they were getting booed yeah like heat heat was yeah. like serious heat was coming out because you know they attacked the hardies yeah. like you don't touch the hardies yeah you don't touch broken brilliance and you know brother Nina. <laughs> <laughs> next up we had uh cody with his valet, Brandy Rhodes. Oh, 
Brand new roads. It's so gorgeous, by the way. Now they cut Miracle about the promo backstage. Um, Miracle cuts a promo about him getting his title shot and how unfair it is. Yeah. This was another amazing promo Great segment promo. by both of them. Yeah. So what I took away from this is you put Miracle up against someone that can talk. He's credible every time. This is the same thing. You can bury him over and over and over and it doesn't matter. All it takes is one segment and it was the promo just before the match yeah. <laughs> to make him credible again. And he did it. It yeah. was perfect. He's great at doing that. Cody Rhodes, though. Man, he got those genes. His promos aren't the same as his father's, clearly. But you can... It's more of a new age kind of... Yeah, he's got his own character. Yeah, he's got, he's got his, his own, own Yeah, exactly. Because you don't want to copy his father. Yeah, the day. Not a, he's not doing... I'm not the son of a promo. I'm not yeah. the American dream, baby. <laughs> yeah. He's got his own thing going. No. Um, but, dude, he can just improv the like man, a... man, yeah. Oh my he's god. Like, he's like an inspirational talker, but not in a way. Like, he speaks like he's an inspirational talker, but he's not. Like, and he's, he's so real. Like, yeah, his yeah, promo yeah. is so real. That's what Dusty Rhodes did so. It didn't matter what he was talking yeah. about. Didn't matter if he was wearing a black fucking lycra suit with yellow polka yeah. dots on and, and had to jive. It didn't matter. It just felt so real. Yeah. And that's what that felt. Like, that whole... Both of them. Yeah. Both of them. But Cody in particular yeah. just felt... So real. I love that promo work. Um, yeah, this dude. And why WWE didn't harness that when mm. they had the opportunity, I have no idea. Freaking drop the ball on that one, WWE. Definitely. So, Miracle comes uh, out. Are you watching? Uh, are you watching? <laughs> uh, are you watching Vince McMahon? Are <laughs> uh, you watching Vince McMahon? McMahon! Yeah, Mc, 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 McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> so, Miracle with Maria comes out yeah. to verse Cody, Ro uh, Cody with Brandy Rhodes. Yeah, get that right. Sorry. Yeah. It's not... Cody, I don't know who what his surname is, but... Something about a family legacy. Yeah, no. I know Brandy Rhodes, but... Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, I know Brandy Rhodes, and she's all, you know, popular and whatever, but... Yeah, that's Cody a stepdaughter of Dusty Rhodes, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's like, the, what, Cody comes that's in Gold and... That's Goldust's uh, sister-in-law. So, what, who's this Cody? He just comes in and, like, tries to steal, the, like, her limelight and yeah, shit. Yeah, the Rhodes yeah, family Yeah, name yeah, yeah, whatever. Nice whatever. one, buddy. Oh, fuck. Anyway, Cody wins. It was yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> awesome match by the way guys this was you can see why Mad, he, uh, match of the night I reckon yeah anyway. uh, I'm gonna have to give it that as well mm. like you can tell why he put Miracle on the yeah, list because yeah. that dude can work and Cody can work and why he was hindered so much like even though he was great in but don't get me wrong mm. like he gave 100% to everything and he he was great excuse me <coughs> excused yeah I've got a bit of the flu still yeah that's alright <coughs> but God damn, him and the Miracle? I think this is the best match of his I've ever seen. Yeah, definitely Miracle's best match in TNA that I've seen, definitely. Yeah, that, and it was great. And Miracle's had some great matches against He's him. He's had some amazing great, matches. Like EC Free, Drew Galloway, Bobby Lashley, Kurt Angle. Oh, and let's not take away from Cody Rhodes, who's so, faced some of the greatest yeah, in the yeah, world yeah, as well. Yeah. Like, So, yeah, again, this is my favorite Cody Rhodes match. Yeah. Um, and this was definitely a match of the night. I give it to these guys. They blew Five it out of the Five-star match, boys. Well done. Yeah. Next up, we had an X Division title match. So, Marche Rocket versus DJZ. Yeah, DJ new Z. boy, Marche Rocket, my boy. I'm backing him up. No. Why? Um, anyway, <laughs> I like the package they ran for Marche yeah, Rocket. Yeah, so we know who he was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like, he's not an uh, ultimate job or like job job. Yeah. He's, you know, got something to prove. He's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got something. Which job job does, but like for some reason, he just. Once they just old, drop him out. Yeah, they just drop him oh, out. Andrew yeah. Everett. But Marche Rocket, like, I love these promo work as well. This has been a night for great promos. His promo work obviously wasn't the best on the card. Yeah, anything. yeah, obviously. But in the very short period of time, I understood what his character was. Where he came from. Where he came from and who he is. Yeah. That's all he had to get over. And in he a did quick two-minute package. That's all it was. It was perfect. Yeah. Actually, I actually don't know where they got all that footage from. They had a fair bit of footage of yeah, him. Yeah. It's like, what? Is he wrestling for? No, they, they cut the three way match into uh, okay, little pieces. All right, that's so it looked like he was facing two different yeah, people. Yeah, okay, and, uh, okay. Like, and he come out in different things. All right, interesting. Um, and DJZ is amazing. Yeah, so. DJZ. Uh, anyone, um, watch, anyone that's an Overwatch fan uh, and listeners, um, can you guys see the resemblance between DJZ and Lucio? If you do, just drop that in the comment. Yeah. Please let me know. Because we call him Lucio. Yeah, we call him Lucio every time he comes up. And in up. Overwatch, we call Lucio DJZ. Yeah, it's actually hilarious. I actually have to explain that to all my um, PlayStation friends when I play. <laughs> I'm like, oh, guys, I need help. I'm DJZ. Oh. They're like, what? Who? Oh, and I'm Lucio. like, Lucio. Uh, I mean, Lucio, the guy with the dreadlocks. Ah, yeah. yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Well, no, we're not helping you. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. 
So these guys had a great match. I really liked this match too. Yeah. I thought it was nice and tight. Um, really showed off the X Division style. Yeah. Really showed off Marche Rocket as well. Yeah, I was about to say, DJZ put over that um, Marche Rocket a really lot. Really? Yeah. Like, because we don't know anything about this guy. Yeah, we've seen him once wrestle in that, you know, triple threat tag. match last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For no reason. Like, it was like, hey, he's this guy with the Hara Helms dynasty, but... Yeah, but he's not with them. But, but he's, he's not with them, but he's here, so like, they like him. What? But now it makes sense, because yeah. he said in package, they hired me to come and help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, exactly, because they know so, what talent. Okay, like. cool. Yeah, like, yeah, right, I get it. Now it all makes sense. Mm -hmm. Let's, yeah. So anyway, of course. And it doesn't have to be too difficult. It was just like, hey, they hired me. Yeah, that's it. Line, that's it. That's done. it. Dine, one line, sinker, done. We Simple. got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, DJZ wasn't yeah. turning over the title yet. Exactly, yeah. He's only had it for like two, three weeks. weeks yeah. yeah, it's not going to turn it over. But, and he's the deserving champion. Yeah, a hundred percent. But goddamn, that was a great match. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. And it wasn't the longest little, match on the card, but good. You could say a great little debut match for Marshall Rocket, Rocket in yeah. a way. His yeah, I know it's only yeah, match. Yeah, yeah, a debut singles match. Yeah, perfect. All right, next up we had Maria versus Gal for the knockouts mm -hmm. title. Madison Rain on commentary. Yeah. Go. So my boy Pope, I just want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for what you did. So why well, Madison Ray was um. Well, sorry, Josh Matthews introduced Madison Ray, obviously, going, hey, we have Madison Ray on the commentary box. How do you feel about this, ex uh, you know, uh, knockouts title <laughs> match and blah, 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 and what do you feel about Maria and all this shit? And, you know, she's given a little, you know, two-minute segment and whatever, and you just see Pope creepily in the back. And you just see, like, you know, you, you can't just, just slightly, look, just slightly, just slightly poking his way back and just checking her out and then looks down to her ass and then looks back up slightly. And, you can, and he has sunnies on, mind you, the yeah. whole time. And he looks back up and then puts his hand on his chin and does the whole finger. Yeah, and yeah. And just goes, mm-hmm. I'm approved, daddy. Yeah, yeah. And gives I'm you like approved. the yummy look. Yeah, yeah. The yummy look. Like, mmm, this black girl got ass. Now, what you need to know, out of KFAB. Yeah, yeah. Josh Matthew is actually <laughs> dating nothing. They either dating or married to Married. Madison, He's actually married. married to Madison, yeah. right? So... Pope and Josh are actually really good friends, so yeah. Pope just gives him ribs. So you'll notice every time Madison's on, he makes comments well, about how she looks. And well, before that, Josh Matthews always gives it to Pope, and yeah. you can realize that when Pope screws, you know, yeah, fucks up, or, to, yeah, he yeah, gives it to him. He's like, "What are you saying? Like, yeah. shut up!" Or like, so this is his one. Yeah, yeah. So this is one chance, like, because he's not quick, he's not smart as uh, you know Josh Matthews. So yeah, you can give it to him by you I know do something just he, and he can't do shit. Yeah, and it's amazing. Like I've all I've been waiting for this chance. I, I've know I've seen it happen here and there, and I actually didn't know that, that you know yeah, yeah. they were married but f for me to actually find out that you know uh, Madison Ray was married to Josh yeah. Matthews made it 10 times funnier and because he never used to say anything and then yeah. after they got married all of a sudden Pope was calling her my little Maddie look yeah. at my hot little Maddie yeah. oh, she's a firecracker yeah. daddy and then you like you know like, why all of a sudden oh because you're giving it to your mate fair yeah, enough yeah 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 thank you yeah. thank you Pope do it so every week amazing. yeah because so, Josh is going to didn't see it either yeah so he's going to watch that back and yeah. just be like you motherfucker yeah, 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 he's facing the camera yeah. like because he's been professional and stuff and there he is uh, he's co-commentator checking out his wife <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pope. Anyway, back to the match. <laughs> so, Why? Yeah, that was pretty much the end of the show. No, I'm kidding. It was Maria versus Gail for the knockouts title in a no DQ match. Yeah. Maria came running down to the ring, grabbed a bin, weapons, kendo sticks, yeah. threw them all in. Gail comes down. She's Gail. Yeah. Actually, aggressive Gail tonight. Yeah. Because she's like, going to get her hands on Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that makes more sense. Yeah. And they went at it. Um, um, again, guys, Maria proved again that she can wrestle. She can wrestle. Yeah. She can move it. She can take she bombs. She's the, yeah. good. She, she calls herself the first lady of wrestling for a reason. Yeah. She can actually get her in there yeah, and mix she it can, up. Look, she's, she's not amazing. Yeah, she's not Yeah, she can mix exactly. it up. Exactly. That's what I was saying. She's not amazing or anything. Like, God forbid. She's not like, oh, wow, she's spectacular. But no, she can wrestle. Like, there's wrestlers or, like, you know, former wrestlers out there or people that, you know, come in and do stuff like this that usually are stiff yeah. with these scenarios. And, like... You know, you can't do anything better because they're not actually professional wrestlers. Or they haven't done it for so long, yeah. so they're going to be stiff. But Maria, you know, she hasn't done this for how long now? She's just a little, you know, in-ring sort of, you know... Valet almost. Valet almost, yeah, pretty much to Mike Bennett now these yeah. days. So she doesn't wrestle. But, you know, for her to keep up with the greatest female wrestler of all time, that's impressive. Yeah. I give my hats off yeah. to fucking... Um, Damn straight. Maria Bennett. Yes. Yeah. Maria yeah. Canellis Bennett. Yeah. Even though you're a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was really good. I really enjoyed this. And yeah. I enjoyed the, as you said, the aggressive nature of Gal when she had the pin. 
pulled her up. That was the first time, yeah. To put the garbage lid on her face and give her another eat to oh, feed. But no, no, her. before that, she did it with the kendo stick over yeah. across the face. So she's like, oh no, she can take the garbage bin this, this time. Well, yeah. Yeah. Great little match. Of course, Gal's going to retain. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this is the same thing with all heels. Maria doesn't need to win ever. No. She can take loss after loss. She already after had loss. her 15 minutes of yeah. fame. She came and in. And still be the bitchy heel in yeah. the background. It's still going to work. Exactly. So she'll still be there. Yeah. Yeah. It works well. I enjoyed that. Next, we had my favorite backstage promo. Now, it wasn't the best promo on the card, but it's still my favorite backstage promo. So it's uh, EC3 cutting a promo about how he's nah. still in the mix and rah, rah. And Eli Drake just comes over and goes, Oh, look, it's another title shot for Ethan Eat, Choker yeah, the, the Third. third. My man, Great. The Rock the Second, I call him. He is. Yeah. He's so The Rock. He's so good. Uh, great promo between Eli Drake and EC3. I love these two guys. Yeah. If you want to put on a show, let these two talk to each other and then wrestle each other. Yeah. I will pay to see that. That's a show I'm more than happy to pay for. An hour and a half of Eli Drake versus EC3 show. Yeah. Done. You don't even need anyone on the undercard. Yeah, that's it. The Just... undercard is their promo. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> them talking is their undercard, and then the main events, them wrestling for yeah, half an hour. Yeah, yeah, wrestling for half an hour if we want. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'll take that every day I'll of the tell week. That. Yeah. Um, these guys are great. I love them, and I love the fact that they're so versatile. They're great ring competitors. Mm -hmm. They can work, you know, varied styles. Yeah. They're great in the actual ring. But their promo work is what's spectacular. Yeah. And yeah, it's fantastic. And just give me more Eli Drake and EC3 yeah. every week and I'm happy. Actually, I, I want to see what they do with yeah. Eli Drake and EC3. Looks like they seem they, they seem to be pinning them together more and more. Looks like they're doing the, the swap. Yeah, okay. So they're doing yeah. the um, Bret Hart Stone Cold. Where Stone Cold went into that as the heel. And Bret Hart, Hart went into it as a face, and, and by the end of that match, Bret Hart was the up, yeah. heel and Stone Cold as the face. And we all know how that turned out. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like they're doing kind of that sort of thing where by the end of this series, Eli Drake is going to be the uh, face and yeah. EC3 is going to be Wait, well, I don't heel. mind that. I like seeing EC3 as a heel. I don't mind seeing that. And I'll see him as anything. I yeah, yeah. And, and Eli Drake yeah, the same. And Eli Drake, yeah, Eli Drake the same. And we haven't seen Eli Drake as a... Well, I haven't seen him as a and face. Neither have I, so yeah, I'd so, like to see the face yeah. time. Yeah. All right, so a nice little backstage promo as well. Cody and Eddie Edwards oh, backstage. Oh, dude, I actually really like this backstage. Not for the fact that it was well done. The fact that Eddie Edwards looked like the biggest mark. Yeah, he was like, I can't Cody believe... Rhodes, yeah, for yeah. Cody. He's like, I can't believe that I'm having a promo yeah. and I'm having a match with Cody. Like, the way he looked at Cody Rhodes, I was like, oh, he looked like That's a little so kid. Yeah. yeah. He's like, of course I'm going to get a like Jim Cornette at WCPW when yeah, he was looking at Jim, um, Ross. Jim Ross. He was like, oh, I, was like, I want someone to look at me like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was. Yeah. He marked out hard for yeah, it. Yeah, it was like, awesome. he started, like, stuttering because he was like... Uh, and, like, you know, Ed, um, Cody Rhodes was, like, you know, helping him, like, put himself over. Yeah, yeah, like... I heard you're the man to beat and stuff. Yeah. So I, I am. I am Mr. Yeah, Incredible. I am the man. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, Eddie Edwards. <laughs> it was good. I yeah. liked it. It was yeah. cute. Again, not the best promos of the night. No. But it's not even close. Yeah. A face face promo doesn't always work. Not even. But these guys are so professional that it worked really well. Cody going like, look after him. I want him in top shape yeah, for our yeah, match yeah. next week. And yeah, that was good. I liked that. Yeah. Same. I really did. Yeah. Um, there was a new group promo from a new group. I don't. I that was creepy and weird i don't know if yeah. that was actually planned i don't know, <laughs> I don't know if tna got hacked but yeah <laughs> they look like anonymous and i don't know what i really really I hopefully of, it's not an invasion angle to be honest i had a bad feeling dude is that what you reckon i had a bad feeling yeah, eh? i hope w there hasn't been some backstage shenanigans Nick man is doing something yeah. He's i hope invasion. it's not me man's boys like i hope that, please don't just make it someone else just anyone if it's greater and like two other jobbers i don't even care like i'll be happy with that just don't make it anyone from wwe please no no i i get this like after the episode finished like i was kind of thinking for a minute and i'm like oh no what if a whole lot of what we're hearing now is smoke and mirrors what if TNA's already gone and WWE's bought it? No, oh, no, yeah. And this is like an NXT invasion. Yeah, okay. I hope not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, next up we had EC3 versus Moose. They've mm -hmm. been building up over the whole the show with the backstage event. segments. Yeah. The winner of this match faces Lashley, and the winner of that match becomes the number one contender. Yeah. So... so yeah, oh, sorry, continue. A little bit convoluted, Yeah. but it makes sense at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's not too hard, guys. It's really just 
Bobby Lashley's gone in, gone. Lost his automatic thing because yeah, yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost his automatic thing, but gone. All right, let them two fight. So, you know, they have a chance against me, then they can go, you know, for the yeah, title. Yeah, and whoever it, wins, wins yeah, yeah. me or whoever wins out of this. Yeah, can yeah. go versus, you know, for the title. Yeah. Which is not too hard. It's simple. It's not bad. Yeah. So, EC3 and Moose get in the ring. Both of them are really over. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, ridiculously over. Ridiculously over. Compelling match as well. Um, as far as, you know, big guy matches aren't always... I've said this many times yeah. over many episodes. They're not always good. Yeah, like, I'm not actually a fan of big, ma- uh, big, big guy matches. Big guy matches. I've said it over and over again. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather literally watch two midgets wrestle again yeah. than watch big man wrestle. Just because of the fact... Because, no, let, let's be honest. What we've been taught as big guy wrestling for the past 20 years is shit like the Greg Hartley versus a big show. That's not big guy wrestling. Yeah. Or we've been shown shit like John Cena squashing everyone in history. <laughs> Or if you want to jump back a little bit further, even the NWO big yeah, guys like yeah, Kevin Nash, uh, yeah, um, Scott Hall, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan yeah. squashing everyone in history. Yeah, and like, everyone to dust, yeah. So that's kind of the, what we've been taught is that's the premise of when you get two big people guy, like that yeah. in the ring. It's not. Like no. Moose and EC3 had, you know, if you watch this on a squash screen and it looked like little it, dudes, you'd think it was almost an X Division match. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was meant to be like, you know, Moose is the big guy in this match. Yeah. But it wasn't. It was like, these guys are both equal in a way. Like, it was like, you know, Moose might be, you know, taller and more versatile than EC3, but EC3's got strength and, you know, technique and yeah. maneuver, you know. So, it, you know, worked together very well. And, like, I'll, I actually haven't seen these two lads wrestle against each other. No, so neither, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought their styles mesh really well. EC3, as you said, in the more technical yeah. style and yeah. Moose in the more power style. Yeah, more power. They meshed really well. Worked mm-hmm. really well together. They sold each other really well. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was just a really tight... Yeah. Again, it didn't it go bit, too long. Yeah, it was, yeah, that's what I was about to say. It didn't go too long... And that's which which was a bit disappointing, but it was a long night, so yeah. they, I guess they couldn't. Fit a it lot all happened. Yeah, yeah, a lot happened, so they had to, you know, you know, squeeze in as much as they can. Yeah, and um, yeah, I honestly reckon it could have gone a bit longer. It could have, but and it was a bit slower. Yeah, look, the match was a bit slower paced because yeah. it's a heavyweight yeah, yeah. match, but but that is given. Yeah, and again, with the amount that they've put into the show, that's why I think the match was shorter than look. They'd gone for half an hour, I would have watched it. But yeah. they needed to fit it into the airing. So yeah. that's as long as they had allocated. And in the time that they had, they put on a great yeah. match yeah. and a great show. Uh, Moose won, which we could see happening yeah. from a mile away because EC3 is on this little losing streak mm-hmm. that's going to turn him heel. Um, what I also noticed that I kind of... Again, only picked up now on recollection rather than at the, the point... Was when Lashley comes out after the match and stands face to face with Moose. Mm. Do you notice CC three just kind of backed away? Backed away. Didn't yeah. help Moose. Didn't yeah, like. No, didn't do anything. He just sort of was like walking. Whatever. He, and yeah. Just walk lose. his head down in shame. Like oh fuck, I've lost again. I've he's, I've choked again. He's kind of selling that yeah, yeah, that angle. Yeah, yeah. Like he didn't really have to because the attention wasn't on him. But if you see it in the background, he's selling the angle mm-hmm. while they're doing their. It's bit. Actually, a good pickup. I didn't realize that. And the face to face. Dude, that always works. Yeah, no, face to face always works. Especially when you have two big, intimidating, yeah, big, massive men face to face. That always works. That's a great image to finish mm-hmm. a show on. Exactly. So that was the end of the episode. Yep. Um, what did you? Let's give it a not a, a numbered ranking or anything, but out of like the the recent episodes of Impact, where do you put this? What did you think? Oh, I give it a ten out of nine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going by the yeah, the, the grand title yeah, yeah, judging yeah, yeah. figures. No, no, nah, dude. Uh, jokes aside, um, look. It was a good show, um, you know, I thought it, like, you know, being TNA is dead, guys, quotation marks, I thought, you know, people were going to go half hearts on this show, like, I thought this is like, you know, the end of TNA kind They're of thing. They're not going to work, like, They're the not gonna rumors work. haven't been paid. Yeah, yeah, like, so, like, you know, it felt like that was, was going to happen, but no, it was, they, they put on a show, the guys actually came out, it was like... Well, you know what we're talking about you know uh, the Affleck theory yeah the Affleck theory yeah, yeah. You know. so it's the Affleck effect you give Ben Affleck $16 an hour and he's the greatest actor on the face of the planet yeah. he hands in Goodwill Hunting and Chasing yeah, Amy yeah he'll hand you in those kind of movies yeah um, when, you know the ones that he wins awards for yeah you give him $20 million and give oh him no 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 even $50 million or something like that yeah. and he'll give you and Batman John Wu is a director and he gives you an absolute piece of garbage as a performance that you're like 
Or it gives you Batman what? versus Superman. Yeah, or Batman versus... Like, you give him too much money, he can't act. Yeah. And I think it's the Affleck effect. Like, these guys haven't been paid. They're like, you're not going to pay me? You're not going to pay me? Well, watch this then. You're going to pay me now? Dude, we don't have any money. Really? Really? Well, watch this. Huh? Huh? You don't think I'm worth it? No, we know you're worth it. We just can't pay you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Yeah. yeah. It really did feel like that. Yeah, no, it was great. Did. I enjoyed it. And I think the promos are outstanding this yeah, week. Yeah, no. They've, they've upped the game a lot from, you know, a month ago when they were, like, you know, badly cut. And, yeah. You know, they weren't making sense to now, like, actually looking like, you know, properly cut promo. Like, I'm, I hate to say it, they actually look as good as WWE's promos now. Yeah. And I think the actual performers themselves, they're, they're mic promos. Yeah. This week, was some of the best I've seen in yeah. a long time, with Matt Hardy and, obviously, Brother Nero being at the top of that card, but... Eli Drake and EC3 yeah. and Eddie Edwards cut an awesome promo and Cody and Cody and Lashley cut yeah. an awesome like the mic work this week is what stands out to me the yeah. most I think I thought this was a great promo yeah. episode great matches don't get me wrong the matches are spectacular but the promo work was just outstanding and mm. if they can keep matching up this level of production right. promo work and matches I, regardless of what happens to TNA, what rises from its ashes has a bright future. Yeah, ahead of it. look, it, it's going in the right direction. Just hopefully, all the backstage shenanigans can sort of be fixed, so it can still watch this beautiful product. Yeah, you know, continue. Exactly. All right, so that's the end Before of. Before we go, every week, every week. Uh, just a quick one. This one, I won't be long. I promise. I just want to say, if you want to get us more interested in the Grand Championship, you should bring more hot judges in, like the one you have now. You only have one, but you should bring in more. Oh, the one that um, Jesse landed in front of. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 the, um, uh, Aaron Rex in ten, uh, accidentally, sorry, I should landed say. Landed right in front of. Yeah, 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 damn, got a nice upscale. I mean, no, uh, nothing. And fix the point system. That point system is yeah. terrible. Have a proper point. And we know... Actually, I wouldn't even be bothered with the point system if they had hot judges. Mm. To be honest. Okay, I'm bothered with the point. <laughs> I know it's fake. I know you do it in advance. I know you've made the title cards yeah. like a, two months ago. But can you just go over the title cards? Anywhere you've got a 10, make that an 8 or a 9. Yeah. And anywhere you've got a 9, make that a 7 and an 8. Yeah. Just make it a bit more believable, guys. That's all we ask. Yeah. Hold more heart judges. That's all. All right, I've been your host, The Stooge. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode of Impact Wrestling Recap and News. We will be back next week because mm -hmm. there's been four weeks of taping, so we've got at least three more yep. episodes. You get to hear our voice for another four weeks, guys. How at exciting least, is that? At least, and we've got the tag team Apocalypto coming from the oh, Hardys. That's going to be awesome. So that's going to be awesome. And I'll always be joined by my co-host, my friend... My wrestling confidant, G Banks. Yo, I'm always here, guys. I'm never going to go away. Whether it be TNA, whether it be NXT, we're still going to be here, sir. We're yeah. still going to be here. We're gonna, still going to be here. We're and still going to be here and just talk shit. And have fun. Yeah, and have Let's fun. have fun. Because that's what wrestling's really about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and now I thought I'd... um, I used to do a radio show a long time ago and did podcasts and stuff. And we had a couple of different outros. And I thought I'd grab two of them and mesh them together and give us a proper sign out. What do you okay. reckon? Yeah, that's a, I like that. You give it Why a go? Not? Yeah, and we won't freaking be flagged this time, <laughs> YouTube. All right, so here's the new sign out, people. Let me know what you think. If you like it, we'll keep doing it. This is how we're going to do it. Adventure. Excitement. A stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the stooge revolution. Peace.